One more here. Take a look at the New Mexico Bowl here, where BYU and SMU are going to battle here. SMU, five and a half point favorite, 64 uh, and a half is what we are looking at for a total here. I believe, for the most part, both of these teams relatively intact for this matchup. So, uh, Ralph, is it one that uh, you think there's uh, worth taking a sign on? Well, I'm going to say this. The, the intact is the one in question. Maybe Tony heard something because he commented about Sataki. It, Jaron Hall is the question mark for BYU. Yeah. He was injured. It's not the same shoulder he injured. He is not ruled out, but he has not been healthy enough to practice. If he's okay to go and they play him, I do lean with the over. SMU does have two opt-outs. Their number one receiver, Rice, 1,355 yards, won't be playing, and neither will Dylan Goffrey, 370 yards on the season. Um, I think SMU, Mordecai is going to be able to pass on BYU's pass defense. They allowed 73.3% on the road this year. Um, if, if Hall practices and gets involved, I might look at the over. Otherwise, I'll be passing all right. Uh, Dave, what are you thinking uh, here with SMU and BYU? Any interest? I, I'm pretty much going to say the same thing Ralph did. I don't know what Hall's situation is, and that is a huge difference maker on this BYU team because he is the, the most important guy on the team. SMU, the receiver, Rice, probably the best player on their team. And he's the guy who ended real chemistry with Mordecai, so I think they're going to miss him. I'm not a big Sataki guy. I think he's really good at motivating his team and having him ready, but in-game, I think he's one of the weaker coaches in college football, so I might give an edge to SMU as far as that goes. Uh, hate to be giving you passes, but without knowing the situation with Hall, I find this an extremely difficult game to play. I Maybe guess at SMU, but not for money. Yeah, <laughs> and that's that's the problem here, Mahi, isn't it? Uh, some of these we might just be uh, guessing. You got to feel one way or the other. Well, I go, I go to Jay Drew for my uh, BYU news, and he reported yesterday that uh, Jaron Hall wants to play, but he'll play basically uh, having practice probably one or two days. But he the the, the uh, intent to play is there, so that'll be a huge boost. Chris Brooks, who's been injured uh, a, a large chunk of the season, will will be at the starting running back. He was a projected starter at the beginning of the season. Lapini Katoa, the guy that they utilized a lot, won't play. And uh, the tight end, Isaac Rex, should play. And they, they've had a, a history of solid tight ends there. So, uh, And most interesting to me, BYU's entire offensive line is back intact, which is a, a huge deal continuity-wise. So from that standpoint, I, I lean taking the point with the Cougars. Don't, I mean, they'll, they'll be able to replace Rasheed Rice, but he is by far their best player. Uh, and, uh, you know, Mordecai's going to have to look elsewhere to uh, get key third downs and whatnot. Um, you know, first first bowl game for, for Red Lashley. Uh, so, uh, Sataki, I think, is 3-2 and two or 2-1. Two and one. So, I mean, no tweet dead there. But, I mean, he does have a winning record. I just like the, the age of this roster. I think they'll care. Uh, so, you know, they'll, it's also going to be freezing cold like in the low 20s uh to me i think mexico uh being in albuquerque in that area um will probably be an advantage for byu having been more familiar with that stadium and whatnot so uh you know if you're if you're, if you're a past happy team you don't want to be freezing cold uh against a team that cares so you're going to give me points i'll take byu all right hey, Joe? take the points go ahead rob joe one point about uh rice that we were talking about yep SMU completed 306 passes. Rice had 96 receptions. So you're talking about one out of almost every three receptions went to Rice. That's how big of an opt-out he is. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that tells you everything uh, right there here, guys. But plenty more bowl games uh, still to come here, and we'll be breaking them down uh, all week uh, for you.